John, thank you so much for joining us today on this special episode of Talk Absolutely. Nerdy to Me. Now, today we're going over a, a new product line that is being released under the Datto Networking family, uh, which is Managed Power. So, John, can you just give me a breakdown? What is Managed Power? Yeah, absolutely. So we've launched Managed Power to solve a specific problem that exists in the marketplace for MSPs. The problem today is that MSPs need to be able to remotely serve and support their right. clients, right? There's a lot of devices that are not easy to manage remotely or physically impossible to manage remotely, um, like cable modems and simple electronics. And the problem is when they, when they aren't uh, working properly, the troubleshooting technique you use is to reboot them. And because they're not easy to connect to and remotely manage, the MSP is really stuck in a quandary there where your choice is to either roll the technician on site all during that time the customer's down and frustrated. Right. Um, the customer's in a car, can't do anything else. They go on site to the frustrated customer and physically pull a plug from a device. That's not appealing. And the alternative is they call to their, talk to their customer and say, I need you to reboot something which is terrible because that's not a very billable event, obviously, and you've just sort of diminished the value of your services. Right, you know, they right. call you for support and you have to reboot it. So we're launching managed power that allows MSPs to literally reach out and control power remotely from anywhere. Now, John, you mentioned the Internet, but as far as rebooting is concerned, what happens if the Internet's out? That's a great question. And what we've done is we've built in these managed power devices a uh, ping test functionality that allows the devices to monitor for connectivity either to an individual device or all the way out through the internet and the device itself is aware of the state of connectivity and if that connectivity is interrupted there will be an auto reboot that takes place and on a device like a cable modem nine times out of ten that solves the problem and brings connectivity right back. Now John what's the specific model that we're launching? Yeah so the first model we're launching is the MP60 uh, and the MP60 has six individually controllable outlets. Uh, we have USB surge and power protection uh, built in as well. Uh, Ethernet connectivity on the back, so it can get online and get to the cloud. We've used standard IEC connection here, so it's very easy to change the length of the cable. Um, and this device has uh, individual control over each port, so you can log in and remotely see the status of what's drawing power, how much. You can even see graphs of history at each port. And then for connectivity, we kind of took it a step further there because a lot of times you deploy these in places where there's not an extra Ethernet connection available. So we built wireless technology right into the MP60. Wow. And we're using the Datto Networking Mesh technology. So you, you literally just power this device on and it will automatically mesh with Datto Networking access points and check into the cloud and download its configuration. Now, to my understanding, this device can be completely configured and managed to the cloud? That's correct. All of the setup, all the configuration and management takes place in the cloud right alongside all of your other data networking devices. From the initial setup and configuring which outlets ping which hosts, you can do individual IP address or host names. You have different lists that you can set up. Very intuitive graphing so it's easy to see power history. It's helpful for an MSP to see if a device isn't responding, is it powered on and not responding or is it literally not getting power for some reason and you can see that right online in the cloud. Because these are surge protection devices, what can happen by design is a surge can hit uh, the building, come in through the outlets, and if this performs its job correctly, the surge protection is depleted and now it needs to be replaced. Because of the cloud configuration, all of the setup that you did, everything lives in the cloud. And so it's as simple as changing the MAC address in the cloud and plugging this device in on site. It'll connect back, get its configuration, and go right back to work with very, mi very minimal work by the MSP or interruption for the end customer. Now, John, speaking of surges, what are the surge protection capabilities of this device? Yeah, so the nice thing about the MP60 is that it does have surge protection built in, so even when you're not remotely connecting to reboot something or it's not auto-rebooting, it is serving a purpose, and that is protecting devices that are plugged into it. Uh, the MP60 has 4,000 joules of surge protection. But when we're thinking about surge protection from the viewpoint of an MSP, we've reimagined that. The problem with surge protection is that when it does its job and protects against smaller spikes, its ability to protect is, is gradually diminished. And at some point in time, even though the device may be able to power on, mm -hmm. it can't fully protect devices that are plugged into it. You typically find that out when a surge makes its way through. So what we've done is we've developed technology to monitor the capability of the surge protection. So we not only show you on the device itself a physical indication of if it's able to protect, right. but in the cloud interface you can see if the surge protection functionality is uh, working as it should. And in the event that the surge capabilities are depleted, 
we've developed a process that will automatically notify the MSP and set up an automatic RMA. So we will let you know that this device cannot protect you further in a surge, and we have a new one on the way. Back to it being configured in the cloud, it's literally an on-site swap out, and all the configuration comes right in. And for that to make sense for the MSP, we've put the MP60 in a lifetime warranty program. So this device, if it ever fails, will replace it for the life that the MSP has it deployed. Now, John, you mentioned the lifetime warranty and the auto replacement. Can you just give us a little bit more insight into that? Yeah, definitely. So when we're thinking about these devices from the viewpoint of an MSP, we've really reimagined how they get deployed. And that's what makes this unique, is that it's often deployed as part of a managed services solution stack. And so with a lifetime warranty and that auto replacement, it just takes all the stress out of the MSP of having to manage that or have a conversation with you know, a device that I sold you a while ago is now not under warranty, even though you've been paying a monthly service for it. Uh, and so we've built that right in. And not only does it have the lifetime warranty, but we've taken the stress out of you know, having to know when it needs to be replaced and completely automated that process. So when surge protection is depleted, we're gonna notify you and proactively send your replacement unit, and you can pass that service right through to your customer. The MSPs are gonna really like that service. Now you talked about the internet, but what are some other use cases for managed power? Great question, because they don't automatically come to mind. The managed power category is, is literally a solution that saves MSPs from unnecessarily having to go on site to reboot something. And when you think about that concept, you start to come up with lots of ideas, like thinking about a multifunction printer, for example, that you should be able to get to that you suddenly can't. Even computers and devices that you should be able to connect to and can't still benefit from getting surge protection from the MP60, but if they're not functioning properly, you can connect to them and recycle them. And now more and more you're seeing like TVs on the walls with digital signage players behind them. All of these devices can benefit from being plugged in, protected by surge, and then giving the MSP the ability to remotely connect in and power them on or off and troubleshooting. We even have scheduling functionality built in so that you can schedule in the MP60 when things should be on and when things should be off. If you think about looking back through tickets in your PSA and finding any time that you had to go on site to reboot something, that's a use case for managed power. You should have these on the shelf ready to go. And when you run into that situation, take one with you and install it while you're there. It'll save you truck rolls from that point forward. John, you mentioned the auto reboot functionality. Can you just give us a little bit more information on that? Sure. So the auto reboot functionality, the, the basic goal it serves is for the MP60 to monitor connectivity, either directly to a device itself or to an internet um, source, like a direct IP through the WAN or a host. And what we've done is allowed you to build custom ping lists, and then you can apply those lists to any individual port. So that creates the ultimate flexibility where not only just at the internet connection like a cable modem, but any device that has an IP address or a host name on the network can be continually monitored by the MP60. And in the event that connectivity is interruption, we can initiate an automatic power cycle of that device, oftentimes bringing it right back online. Well, John, thank you very much for your time, and we appreciate all the information. On oh, you bet. Power. Really excited about managed power. It's going to be a great product line.